everyone and welcome to my channel. Today it is going to be a bit different because I found these miniverse make it mini food and I've seen a lot of people here on YouTube opening these and just making that and that in itself is quite fun but I'm gonna do it a bit different because this channel is a mini channel in 1 to 12 and these are supposed to be 1 to 6 so I am going to opening one of these balls and then I will make what's in the ball and then later or after that I am going to create uh, the thing in 1 to 12 with my polymer clay anyway I am going to do that so let's get to the table and see what we got so here we are and I just took one of these one. I took the small one. There are two different sizes, a big and a small one. So I decided for a small one today. So let us open this one and see what we get. So we can make it in 1 to 12. much plastic around these balls it's a little too much if you ask me there we go let's pop it open and take out the things that we got so we have a yellow an orange, a dark greenish, and a lighter greenish colored bag here, and a translucent one, and a really cute little uh, Rise and Shine Coffee Company thing. I think that is a doily for under whatever we get. I'm gonna put that in here to save it. So we have a uh, some guides we don't need those and we have the little booklet on how to make these things go together and what's in here and which one you can get and stuff like that Ooh, there are so many and here you have the how to so let me see here on the front um, oh I like them all I really like them all but I think we are going to get this one or this one based on the doily we got because that's this one so we are going to get a cup of something that's neat um, let's open up one of these bags here it says have a sunny day let's open the bag up here and out comes mini white cream and that also has a plastic on it so much plastic for these this did not need to go on there actually we could have done without that one let's open this up oh a doily of white cream oh it's orange hmm on this one it is brown and the same up here interesting Let's put on the little lid here, open this one, it says thank you, have a sunny day, happy sunny farms, happy sun farms. Let's open this one up, I think this might be the resin, no it's a cup, so it is one of, uh, no it must be this one that we got. A cafe lade. Let's take this one. I think that's a resin. Keep cool. Happy sun farms. And that's a resin. Yes, so that is a brown coffee. Rice Shine Coffee Company. 
These are really, really adorable. And then here we have a spoon or a straw or something like that. Let me see if I can open that one without cutting into the utensil. Come on out. There we go. So that's a tiny, tiny straw. Let me open this one really quickly. There we go, it's a straw. It's really, really cute. And then of course we have um, the tweezers or what you call it for working with. And then this one is for the top of the stone. So you have like a cookie uh, to, uh, what do you call that? A lid for putting over your things. Anyway, let me just clean up a second and then I will be right back. Here we go. So we have the little cup here and we have the how to guide here. That's this part. Let me take that out very quick. There we go. So the how to. And it says to first place the cup on the little doily, doot, then pour on uh, in the uh, cream or coffee. And then you can put the cream on top and the straw in there and that's it. Then put it into the UV resin lamp. So let me open this one first. It's really neat. Taking the cream here. See if I can get this little thingy here off. It's really good on there. Nope. I just ruined it. Oh, let me take a knife. to get it off. Now I got it everywhere. And be careful because this is UV resin. Uh, so you don't want this on your hands or in your fingers. In On your fingers, not in your fingers. There we go. I got it. There we go. Sorry, I had to uh, take off this little thing uh, on the side because uh, you don't want UV resin anywhere near your fingers or on your fingers. Um, I had to take this little thing off here uh, off camera because it was a little more difficult than it uh, wanted to be and uh, you don't want UV resin on your fingers, so I just was very careful. Let me put that to the side. So I have this little thing of, uh, I think it's kind of a coffee chocolate, chocolatey color, yeah. So I'm just gonna fill up the little cup here with that. There is enough in here for this project. Oh, there are 
there's more than enough. I think I'm gonna, whoops, stop right here. Just take my baby wipes and wipe this off. And I'm gonna put the lid back on here. And I'm gonna turn that upside down just to make sure everything comes down. Then I need my UV resin light. And I'm taking my straw and I'm gonna place that into the drink here. Take my UV resin light and cure and cure this uh, coffee thing here. So I hardened the resin here and it looks pretty neat. I'm going to take a tiny bit more resin so that we can put the uh, wet cream in there and it can stay in place. So I'm just gonna fill the rest of the UV resin down into this little cup here with the straw. This is actually a simple craft. I think there is even more resin in this one. So I'm going to take this little thingy. It's actually rubbery. I thought it was a hot plastic, but it's not. And place a little... Uh-oh. Can't be there for the straw. Hmm. I don't like the way it looks. But I think it has to go like that because I can't put it in any well any way else. And now I will need to uh, light it under my UV light again and then I will be back. So here this is what I got. The little box here for the white cream. You can use that for something else in your dollhouse or in your So here are the things that we got. We have the container for the whipped cream in, I would say, one to six. Then we have the drink that we made. It actually looks pretty neat. It came out really good, I think. And the little doily for the drink. There we go. The tweezers and then the rest resin in the little box. You can go and try to harden this in the box um, but this is actually a um, thing you can't throw directly into the garbage because there's UV resin in there so you have to dispose of this right so that is one annoying thing about the set you have uh, something you just can't throw out like that you will have to dispose of this right. But we got the little drink here and it's really, really big. Uh, if you are normally making things in 1 to 12 like I do. So let's try to do this in 1 to 12 instead of this one where it is more likely to be 1 to 6. So let's go into that part now. So that was a lot of fun making the little drink from the blind bag ball. Now I am going to make this little drink in 1 to 12 with polymer clay. For that I took a piece of white polymer clay that is opaque white and I am uh, shaping it into the white cream for the top of the little drink. I'm going to mix a tiny bit of translucent white with some caramelish uh, bread colored clay that I have for making breads and I'm just going to mix that together and make the inside of the drink so that will be the drink itself this little part here so I'm just going to roll it and flatten it in both ends until I'm happy with the look of it I rolled out some translucent clay on my 
I think that was on the thinnest setting on my pasta machine and using a tiny bit of pick and bond making this um, thing here we made um, more sticky making sure that it will stick together then I'm just wrapping that in one layer of this translucent white uh, don't make it overlay I'm cutting it off a tiny bit longer than the tube itself because I want to make sure that I can make it look like a jar by folding the top side uh, in over the little inside of the uh, drink it's really hard to explain um, again make sure it's not overlaying now I'm just softening out the connection here and smoothening everything so it looks really really nice I flattened down the edges here at the bottom and I am cutting out a tiny circle of the clay for the uh, bottom of the jaw just placing that on there uh, again using a tiny bit of bacon bond because we baked this so we want it to be able to stick together so I'm placing this tiny bit of a circle on the bottom here and then I am going to soften out the connections so you don't see them just using my tool for that I pushed the top edge inside so that it was smooth around the drink itself and using a tiny bit of my bacon bond I glued the little white cream top on top of the drink then I am cutting off a tiny strip again of this translucent white clay uh, and I rolled that out on the thinnest setting on my pasta machine and I'm going to make the edge or the brim of the um, the little jaw that we have the drink inside so I'm just placing that around the top of the uh, white cream and making sure it's not overlaying I am smoothing out the connection between the top and the bottom part of the jaw and the connection on the uh, brim itself and when I'm happy with this I am going to make the little handle for it for that I rolled out a tiny bit of the translucent clay into a snake and I'm shaping it into the um, into the way that I want the handle to look I'm placing it on my little jaw here making sure that the connections are really good so it won't fall off after baking I mixed a tiny bit of uh, blue colored clay with the translucent white clay and um, I'm going to make the straw from this so again I'm just rolling it into a snake cutting out a piece that I like for the straw and placing that between the white cream and the brim of the cup here and now it is time for baking the little cup I used a tiny bit of my dessert topping master caramel drizzle and I just put that on top of the wipe cream and I am going to glaze this little uh, jar uh, later I wanted to try to make this from resin as well so I mixed a tiny bit of resin this is a epoxy resin two parts um, and I have this small that looks a tiny bit like this little jar here and I'm going to use the one that I find match the original here but in 1 to 12 so I'm going to fill up this little mold with a tiny bit of the resin then pop in uh, the rest of the mold put it together and light it uh, in my UV light chamber for around six minutes When it is all hardened, I take it out of the mold and I am going to clean off the sides here because uh, there is a lot of excess uh, resin here. 
so I'm just uh, trying to rip it off with my fingers but that's not so easy so I'm going to cut it off with my small scissors here and just take my time cutting it loose and cleaning this little jar up to make the bottom of this little resin jar I am going to take some of my resin tape just a tiny piece we don't need much placing the jar here on top so that the bottom is really sticking to uh, the tape I'm using some UV resin for this just taking a tiny bit of it and dripping it into the bottom of the jar so it will make kind of a bottom on this little jar and then when I'm happy I am taking the UV torch and giving it some UV light to harden it I have some crystal string that I'm going to use for the handle so again dipping that in the UV resin sticking it to the little jaw and using my UV light or UV torch to make it stay in place cut that into length and glue the top of the little handle to the jaw again with a tiny bit of UV resin and I'm making sure that it gets enough of the UV light so that it will harden all the way through For the little straw I'm mixing a tiny bit of soft pastel in a blue color into some UV resin and the mold has this kind of indent all the way around um, for this little lip to go inside to close the mold 100% and I'm going to use that little piece here to make the straw because it's perfect for that so I'm just putting my resin in there and giving that a little um, stream of the UV light here again to harden it I peel it out of the mold and I can cut it into the length I want it to and there we have a nice little straw for the drink I peeled the tape off the bottom of the little jaw and now I am going to mix the drink itself so again I'm using my UV resin and I'm using some of my soft pastels colors to try to hit the color of this drink I did fail um, a little because mine is a little more dark brownish than this honey color that the drink has you can see the difference in the colors right here while mixing it um, but I chose to use it like it was and then um, put that into my little jaw to make the drink out of that then I place the little straw into the jaw and I am going to harden that under my UV light so this is how it looks now I actually like the result of this one I have some uh, UV resin this is some white uh, really thick uh, resin and I'm going to use that to make the little doily of white cream on top of the drink um, I have this little uh, tip for it so it looks like a, a white cream tip so I am using that for the white cream on top of the drink when I'm happy with that I am going to put it under my UV light again when that is hardened I am using my dessert topping master the caramel just from the other one I made and I'm going to make the drizzle on top of the uh, white cream with that and I'm going to leave that to dry I use a UV resin top coat 
that is a non-wipe top coat this way it will harden and there is nothing sticky about it after hardening and it will have a nice translucent and a uh, glassy look when it's all done i do that to both of these smolderings and that's all there is for this little craft i know this was a long video but i had a lot of fun with this one i hope you enjoyed it so all i have to say is thank you for watching and happy crafting